Hello, and welcome to another video in my Fundamentals of Orchestration series. Today I'll be looking at the bassoon family of the woodwind section, and I'll discuss timbre, technique, and idiomatic writing. Let's get started. Like the oboe family, bassoons are double reed woodwinds, and there are a few timbral similarities between oboes and bassoons. When musicians or composers, myself included, say that a sound or timbre is reedy, that usually means that there's more of a nasal tone, almost a buzzier sound with more energy in the upper partials of the harmonic spectrum. Oboes and bassoons share many common timbral and sonic characteristics, partly because of the double reeded mouthpiece, although overall I'd say the oboe is perhaps more nasal and reedy sounding than the bassoon. Like several other members of the woodwind family, the history of the bassoon can be traced back hundreds of years, specifically to the 16th century, where it likely evolved from the dulcian, a double reeded Renaissance instrument. During the 18th century, composers like Vivaldi and Telemann were composing music with the Baroque bassoon, which is very similar to the modern construction. Modern bassoons are made from wood and have a conical bore like the oboe. The bassoon is tuned in C and has a range from B flat 1 to E flat 5. Most bassoonists read music in bass clef, tenor clef, and treble clef depending on the register. It is often used as the bass voice in the orchestral woodwind section due to its low range. However, the upper register is quite expressive and lyrical with a softer, more delicate tone. The bassoon's range can be divided into three registers with their own timbral qualities. From B flat one to about G two, the bassoon is dark and full-bodied, but has difficulty playing anything other than medium loud to loud. The next octave is less intense and more expressive. The highest octave is thin, but maintains a timbral intensity. But unless exposed in an orchestral texture, the highest notes can be overpowered by the rest of the orchestra. In this next example, listen to the timbral shifts as the music moves between registers. Overall, the bassoon is a versatile, lyrical instrument that is capable of agile slurred passages, as well as staccatos and large leaps, though not to the same extent as flute or clarinet. Extended techniques such as flutter tongue and multiphonics are possible, but not recommended for orchestral writing. The only other member of the bassoon family that appears in modern orchestral music is the contrabassoon, which has a written range from B flat 1 to B flat 4 and sounds an octave lower. Because of its larger size, the contrabassoon is less capable of agile passages than the bassoon, and its sound is a bit slower to respond, especially in the lowest register. The contrabassoon is often the lowest pitched instrument in the woodwind section, and the low register is particularly powerful. As it gets higher in pitch, the timbre starts to thin quite substantially, so this instrument is mostly known for its lowest notes, at least in orchestral repertoire. So that's all that I want to cover in this video, and that completes the introduction to the woodwind family. I know that I left out the saxophone family, 
and there have certainly been a lot of great orchestral works that included saxophones, but unfortunately they are not standard orchestral instruments. I plan on making a few videos in the near future on wind ensemble orchestration, as well as jazz ensemble orchestration, so saxophones will certainly be a part of those videos. Stay tuned for my next set of videos, which will focus on orchestrating with the woodwind section. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.